Sabrina is a creative graphic designer who is painting the town red after getting engaged to the love of her life, Peter. But planning a wedding is a lot like filling a blank canvas, and she finds herself asking, where do I start? I can't totally picture the whole place setting and tables and chairs and linens. Well, Sabrina, Get Married is here to help. We're challenging two animated and talented designers to create do-it-yourself centerpieces that reflect Sabrina's bridal personality. When you're designing a DIY centerpiece, it really needs to express who you are. Which will she think reveals her true colors? And which will she brush aside? We'll paint Sabrina a picture of what her wedding will look like with coordinated chair covers and linens. And we'll show Sabrina how to have a state-of-the-art wedding with the latest trend, peacocks. Get Married has the template we need to make planning Sabrina's wedding a piece of cake. As the owner of her own graphic design business, Sabrina knows that the success lies in the details, and a wedding is certainly no exception. But between running her business, traveling, and spending time with her fiance and dogs, Sabrina found that planning a wedding to reflect her unique eye and style is proving tougher than she thought. My name is Sabrina. I am 27, I'm a graphic designer, and I'm getting married. My name is Peter Tongren, I'm 31 years old. I'm a strength and conditioning coach for a high school, and I'm getting married. I love Peter because he's compassionate, and he's genuine, and he's full of life. He makes me love life. I love Sabrina because, first off, she's the most beautiful woman I've ever met. She is thoughtful. She and I are perfect together. Pretty much everything Peter and I do is fun. We love playing with our dogs. We like going to the park. We like scuba diving. We do lots of diving. I think one of our favorite things to do is travel. We love traveling. He proposed in Bonaire, which is a little island off the coast of Venezuela. It was a scuba diving trip. I chartered a boat. I figured there was no better time. We were by ourselves on the ocean. So. He came down to the boat where I was and he got down on one knee. She said yes and it was uh, perfect. I couldn't have asked for it to go any better. I feel really, really excited about the wedding. We have almost everything. We definitely have our colors. I don't know how everything's gonna tie in all together. The linens and the chairs, the things that when all put together correctly will look just right. Peter has been so involved in the wedding, which I love because I never want it to be all about um, just me. I want it to be about us. On the wedding day, I think I will probably be really, really excited just to see him. And I can't wait for all of our family and friends to be all in one room. I can possibly see myself crying. Uh, I don't want to put any money on it, but uh, I will definitely uh, be really caught up in the moment. I think it's going to be the most wonderful time of my life. The best place to start is discovering your bridal style. So we had Sabrina take the GetMarried.com bridal style quiz. The results are in. Sabrina is a vintage and creative bride. So I invited her to a venue she could make all her own and truly express her unique vintage style. The beautiful Cater Wolford Gardens in Atlanta, where I've got a few surprises up my sleeve for Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. I'm Stacy. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you so much for being here today. We're going to have some good fun in a little bit. Before we get started, I wanted to talk about the bridal style quiz that you took on our GetMarried.com website. Mm -hmm. It says that you're very vintage and creative. Do you think that matches your personality? Absolutely. I'm a graphic designer, so I love being creative. I love adding a personal touch to everything, and I, I think that really ties in well with, with our wedding. Now, I know that Peter, your fiancé, is very active in the wedding planning process, not like the typical guy. He is. He's definitely one of a kind. Um, um, he is so awesome and he's had such a part in making sure I don't forget anything and putting his personal touch on it as well. That's amazing. You're very lucky. Yes, I am. 
All right, Sabrina, I know you're having an outdoor tent wedding, so we wanted to bring you to the beautiful Cater Wolford Gardens. It's beautifully manicured. There's beautiful gardens here. What do you think of the location? I love it. It's got great landscaping and definitely has a lot of charm and reminds me of our venue. Great. I see you have the invitation that we sent you. What do you think of it? I love it. This is the perfect fuchsia that I was going for, um, and I love the shimmer of the, the gray. I think that pops a lot, and I love the actual die cut of the invitation. You don't typically see that. Well, I sent that invitation along with the inspiration board that you created off to two amazing designers, Brian Green from F&G Weddings and Don Cowart from Traditionally Modern. We then challenged them to create two DIY tablescapes to match your vintage personality. Later in the show, you're going to get to pick your favorite. Awesome. My name is Dawn Cowart with Traditionally Modern Wedding and Event Planners, and I accept this challenge. <laughs> Superstar. I'm Brian Green from FNG Weddings, and I accept this challenge. It's got to be cute. To get Brian and Dawn started on the DIY Centerpiece Challenge, we sent them information about our bride, Sabrina, including her bridal style. Loves Hollywood glam with a little bit of a vintage touch. Her inspiration board, the invitation, and her colors. Oh, I see her colors are gonna be fuchsia and gray. Those colors are awesome together. We also threw in an added surprise. Oh, this is interesting. The groom's gonna be helping with the DIY centerpiece. So I guess I gotta make it easy, but still fabulous. I think the groom being part of the challenge is something really interesting, and honestly, I think it's great. They look like a fun couple. I can't wait to get started. Definitely want to find unique looking vases. I think this is a good one. I'll pull this one for sure. This is a great kind of a touch to vintage old Hollywood. Let's try these. These should work. When you're designing a, a DIY centerpiece, it really needs to express who you are. This might be something interesting. I might have to work on this idea a little. Maybe some flowers here and there. Or, you know, what we could do, we could put this around here. We have our vintage pin because she is a vintage bride. I don't want to create a table that scares Peter that he couldn't do this himself. So I really want to be able to break it down into portions that he can see each step by step that it's not that overwhelming. Fill it, drop a little candle in there. Instant romance. If we had a tall vase and got a lampshade but put ribbon around it, that's definitely something the groom could help with. And I would really like to use some of the glass. I think that's a very vintage, chic feel. I think they're going to faint when they see it. So good luck to the other designer. I am very excited about the challenge because I just love something new, something exciting. And Brian, you're going down. Whether you're a vintage bride like Sabrina, modern, or even more traditional, this latest trend has taken off as a fashionable addition to any wedding. That's why brides of all styles are flocking to the peacock trend. Whether you're looking for some dramatic flair or an added elegant touch, peacocks are flying high as one of the hottest trends in weddings. Peacocks is huge right now. I mean, everywhere I've seen it in fashion, in homeware, and it's, it's just such a great thing. You can bring it in so many ways. We're seeing the feathers. We're seeing just the outline of the, the shape of the peacock. Not to mention the bright, bold colors. If you think of the turquoise, the, the blue, they tend to stand out when you use them against the rich tones, the rich purple and the darker tones. And these colors will definitely make a statement to your guests when they get a peek at what's to come with your peacock theme, save the dates, and invitations. When guests receive an invitation with a peacock on, them, I think they immediately can tell that it's going to be a glamorous affair, slightly edgy, and definitely very stylish. It's subtle enough that you can use it in multiple places without it being overdone. We'll use peacock feathers as boutonnieres. Obviously, we include them in bouquets. Centerpieces, you can do a really pretty, kind of funky, fun arrangement. Just remember, however you choose to use them, when it comes to bringing peacocks into your wedding, the sky is truly the limit.